It's about that time. Assemble and talk. No, no cap. It's a civil war. You digging, you worthy. You feeling like door. door, door. Smash that light, burn like hope, yeah. Like, it was a hunt, like, a hundred of them. Yeah. They all got together. They took his daughter and ripped her apart. Like, one dude grabbed, there was another dude, one dude, they both grabbed the limb and they ripped the little girl apart and they drew it. Like, they literally, like, a nigga literally drew this. And then the rest of the dudes gang banged his wife mm -hmm. and the husband. <laughs> And I was mad angry because I was like, yo. Like you said, I was mad angry. All of this because of salt, bro. You like, you... Wait, which one's mine? Um, the full one. <laughs> Good looking, bro. Nah, that's crazy. And then the shit that happens in that comic. Which comic is this? It's called Crossed. Crossed. Is is the crazy, like, bro, like, out of, said, all the, that up. <laughs> out of all the comics I read, American, because manga gets pretty crazy, but that was... That was wild. And then there was like another scene, there was another story where they were sneaking through the buildings and then one of them got hit with an arrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it right there. And then they shot the I'll shit. The below. They shot the shit out of this lady. And then it essentially, <laughs> the and then she just fell off the building. <laughs> and then essentially what ended up happening was, was that she's a kindergarten teacher and then she had mad children with her. So then they're like, oh, like we fucked up. So um, pretty much, I'm gonna just cut the long story short. So they were, so the teacher died and then they had mad little kids. And they're like, all right, so like what we gonna do to the little kids? And the teacher had already established, like hinted, not saying directly. Mm -hmm. They're like, yo, we had to do what we had to do to feed the kids. Mm -hmm. So you already know that, that if they saw a straggler, mm -hmm. right? They yeah. was killing him, and she yeah. was feeding him. Yeah, that's she was a feed. so, they, so they were these like, niggas is cannibals. Yeah, but they they trained and like they know how to set traps, like they know how to do crazy shit. So essentially, towards the end, they're like, we can't have all these little kids with us, you know? Like we got to think right. about survival. Yeah, we got to think yeah, about yeah, yeah. so like we can't be, you Put know. Them at, at harm's way. And then everybody's like, nah, but like. They can handle themselves. Like they mm -hmm. got training. They know how to. They know how to do what they. They could be an asset. Then think they're more than a, yeah help than an asset than a liability. Yeah. So, and then the like the leader. It was a woman, and you know so she knew how to shoot guns. Like she was she was that bitch. Right. Excuse pardon my but she was yeah. a badass, and she had her son. And throughout the the comic is established that she tries to shield him from what's going on, so he don't really know what's going on. So, like, whenever there's a, a fight going on or something, like, mm -hmm. she's like, yo, go hide right here. So, he, he kind of don't understand what's going on. Right. She's like, I don't want those little kids near my son. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, like yeah, I don't yeah. want those, like, the niggas is cannibals. Like, I don't know what they can teach my son. <laughs> like, that shit is wild. So, like, at the end of the comic, while they asleep, they go to the back, and then they kill all the little kids. Did I hear the story? This thing is crazy. What? Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yo, bro. bro like, I'm not even interrupt him. I let him just... I know we just started, but shit, that was crazy as fuck. Dog, like. But that's one of the wildest, the and that's not even the wildest shit in there. So yeah, that it's called cross. It's called cross. cross. So regular way you spell cross, C R O um, S S E D. And it's written by um, a guy named Garth Enos, mm -hmm. who, the boys, he did the boys, he did um, he did a lot of really good. He did um, a Punisher story, mm -hmm. where uh, fucking. Kingpin got raped in jail. Nah, I heard about that one yeah, before yeah, too. Yeah. Like, so that's all the same dude. But he wanted, I guess he wanted to just to do something. But that was at the same time. Wilder. Yeah, but that was at the same time where uh, Invincible, The Boys, mm -hmm. Walking Dead, like comics like that. Was, that was like the like, gruesome ones, the dark gruesome, not... Like, yeah, right? Like, like, yeah, like, like, yeah, like the gory fucked up yeah, indies. Yeah, the, the dark, right. not even dark humor, just like... It's just dark, crazy like, shit. Wow. Like, yeah, dark, dark. Like, that just happened. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Irredeemable is, is also, um, which I think is better than Invincible. Like, but I haven't seen that either. Invincible was good, but I think Irredeemable Wait, is better. You didn't see Invincible with the cartoon? Nah, that's the one on Amazon Quant, right? Yo, bro, if you do anything this year or before the summer ends. Oh, wait, I had the. the trust me. The, I had this on my Best lap. cartoon.
Huh? If you can make your own live action movie, what what storyline would you do? Anything. You know so much. So whatever's your favorite shit, I would assume you'd be like, you know what? If they ever do this, I would take my hat off and they got it. So you won't blow you away. You're like, that's it. They do this in this way, they got it. And obviously you're pushing it in the best cinematic on um, production in, in your head. So I'm not Nothing that's well, like, like, like no holds bar. Like I have whatever I want. No, yeah, yeah. We talking about the perfect movie for you, but superhero movie or villain superhero? or superhero or content. indie, or it just has to be strictly superhero content. So it could be indie, right? It could be a like um, but it has to be superhero. No, it could be a villain. Like see how they made the Joker movie? That was somebody's vision. They said fuck that. If I no, no, but it has to be. It has to be. It has to be capes and superpowers. I mean, I feel like you're finding trick whole questions, so I don't want to get you wrong. You like Batman? <laughs> All right, irredeemable. What do you mean? Who's irredeemable. Irredeemable is, is like what? He's just a superhero that went evil. Anything, bro. Any yeah, storyline yeah, 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 that's yeah, yeah. in this realm. Ir- irredeemable. As long as it, it falls in the lines of the realm of superheroism. Okay. Yeah. So, irredeemable. So who? Yeah, that's what the well, that's the comic. Yeah, what the is that? Yeah. I mean, you know, we don't know about that. So yeah, that? Right. <laughs> he's he's pretty much a dude that I just started reading. His name is Irredeemable. Yeah. That's not really. His name is Plutonian. The Plutonian. So, so he, he's he's Superman essentially. He's Superman, and one day he just snapped, and he started just killing everybody. He started going after no, his brothers in the Justice League, and he started killing people. And he had a close friend, and he lobotomized like half of his memory. So he knows why he went that. Like he knows why he went evil, but he took half of his memory with him, and then he just left him. Mm. So, like this dude is ruthless in the sense that um, I know Invincible, but Invincible like Irredeemable is on another level because this dude does a lot of fucked up shit. All right, and uh, it's more fucked up. Like it's not yeah, just yeah, like, like oh, that was a hard, gruesome scene. No. Nah, like, that's fucked up. Like, like, in the sense shit. of the way we were saying in the killing joke with them scenes, how harsh those were. So, for example, um, there's one issue where he pretty much destroys an island that I don't really remember. He destroys an island. And like, just for the hell of it? Yeah. Instantly, he destroys, having a bad day. He destroys it. <laughs> it's yeah. crazy. And then so like it's. Superpowers, and then the superheroes are trying to save all the people. So then there's a person that can open a portal and they're trying to get as many people to the portal as he can. But then he instantly, like, just super speeds in front of the portal and he stops them. And then he's like, you can only save two people. Just pick two people to save right now. And then he was like, oh, um, I don't even really remember because I haven't read it in, in, in like a few months. So the, the, the guy picks a woman and a daughter and he goes, okay, now pick one. And the guy's like, nah, blah, blah, blah. He goes, nah, you gotta pick one. So then yeah, he's so like, like yeah, so he picks, like, he picks the baby. He picks like the little girl. And then he kills the little girl and the mother. Mm. And then he goes, all right, now you can send everybody in. Mm. And then he just leaves. Yeah, well. So what's the name of it again? It's called Irredeemable. But his, uh, uh, about Plutonian. He's called Plutonian. Plutonian. I feel like I need to know him, the Plutonian. So you can write that down, Plutonian? Yeah, yeah. Plutonian. Plutonian. Yeah. I'm gonna see it on here, so I'm gonna know again. He's, 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 he's a scumbag. Man. Like, the, like that would be mine. No, 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 yeah, my song. Okay, but, but that that would be, but that would be the movie. No, I, I call him in a nutshell right now. That's why I like, I like just try to get his name again and the name of the. So it's the the redeemable, the redeemable. Comic is called irredeemable. The character is Plutonian. Plutonian. I can look into that. Yeah, I heard what you're being said about it. And then, and then if it didn't have to be capes and superpowers, it would be crossed. Oh, it it be, yeah, that's what that was gonna be my first pick, Christ. Right. For nah, me, that, I don't want to little... see that like that loud action, bro. That's kind of. Nah, I'm gonna go more lightly than that. I'm just I'm gonna keep it more in the regular uh, capes and red, yellow, blue, white. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. keep it real kiddish. Batman Beyond. I don't know which story. Yeah, bro, that's gonna happen. Bro. I don't know what would be the story. Happen, no, but, but for me, like that's like it's since I'm a super duper Batman stand growing up, bro. It's in the world. I feel like they, people overlook him ever since his shit nah, stopped airing. It's, it's in the no, world. Why do you think bro. they got Michael Keaton and Flashpoint? No, no, no. You're not wrong. I'm not saying it's probably not down the line set up seeding because that's exactly what's going on. Even yeah. if you watched him, his not him, but his realm's cameo because um they, you know the Arrowverse and all of that, the Flash and all of that, the CW it. shows. They, when they did their crosses on Inf- um, Infinite Earths, right, Crisis on Infinite Earths, sorry, when they all crossed over, they had a scene where they were showing every different universe. 
and they showed the Batman 89 universe and that's how they labeled it 89. So for you couldn't know, so yeah. They made it canon. In, in so the, like in the that, yeah. It, they didn't get to get Michael Keaton to come in to do the shot, but they got the. If you remember that movie, the detective that was working with Shorty, and he did a lot of movies in the nineties. But it was like some white guy. He was working with the Shorty that Batman ended up slamming the other reporter chick. Mm-hmm. Son, they used him. They brought him back. Nineteen, no, twenty-five. How old I am? Matter of fact, plus two years, two years, right? So I'm 20, 30, 32 years ago. They brought this actor back since they couldn't get Michael Keaton, and then they showed it. But the reason I bring it up because the sky was red with the bat sign, and he's like, oh, he's reading newspaper. He's like, oh, yeah, in for, yeah, in for a wild night tonight. Hey, like, I don't know. This is thirty years after him, Michael Keaton's first movie. So he didn't see everything that happened in the thirty-two years of Batman putting in pain and retiring. Right. But well, the sky was hinting, red. That's hinting at Batman, Batman Beyond. Beyond. The sky was red. If you really go back and look at you, like, oh yeah, that's. And then everything else, they bring in Michael Keaton in the Flash movie. It's confirmed. He already shot. They got set photos of him. I can show you. And he's playing an older Batman. Do I? It's thirty-two years later. It's literally they made that canon now to the DCEU. His movies, the first two movies. So oh, why? Why would they? This is the new slate. I got it right here. Look at this, too, Jerry. I got the new slate right. See, oh, I got it on my they, phone. They Fuck. wouldn't. They wouldn't Can. put. They Michael made a canon After the Flash movie, sorry, the Flash movie is gonna reset everything. So they they doing the Flashpoint, but not really, not full fledged on, but they doing an iteration of their version of Flashpoint, right? His, his movie. So it's like back. a soft yeah. reset. A soft reset. And when he does it, he's also gonna do, pun intended, a soft reset. He's gonna. I don't know if you've seen the end of the Dark Apocalypse movie after everybody was all fucked up by um, Apoc- I mean, uh, Dark Side and half dead and half cyborgs and shit. Um, Constantine came up to him. He's like, bro, you know what you got to do, man. He's like, I'm sorry. He's like, look at everybody. And he looked around, everybody's half dead, everybody's metal eyes, metal arms. And that was crazy. Dark Side bombed out and killed everybody, like half of everybody, and he half killed everybody. And used them as servants and shit. The Flash ran into the ocean at full speed plus some, and he reset it the whole timeline. So all the animation movies, he reset it all of that shit, and it starts over again. Yeah. So all the yeah. new movies that come out, it starts over same universe in a way, but it's not because Flash ran so fast that he started everything over. And that's what happens in the Flash movie. But they're doing that now in his movie. Okay. The DCEU messed up so much film wise that they want to correct their wrongs, right? Their wrongs. But I think that was I mean, always that was always the no, plan. that was Zach, always the plan. No, that was Zack Snyder's plan always. Zack Snyder planned to do that in his movies. He was gonna. That's why he's like, yo, bro, y'all niggas took me out of it when my plan was to reset my characters anyway. I was gonna leave Ben Affleck as Batman forever. He was gonna reset in seven years, and y'all was gonna be able to recast him without with the fans saying, wait, that's not the nigga that played him. Yo, no, y'all know what happened. The universe reset it. Right. On film. Yeah, but they get they but a new, that's, that's a new reincarnation of this character yeah. is born. But they were like, fuck it, we were doing it live. So they taking his idea and now they doing it without him in it, so they're gonna still so now when Flash movie comes out, at the end of his movie he's gonna reset everything. So the Justice League movie that came out doesn't count no more. Then Batman vs Superman but, doesn't count no more. Yeah, part, anyway. But the cool part about it is is that it's still gonna exist in the multiverse. So if they want, they could pull from it later. Right. Like, if they oh, want, yeah, but they're not yeah, going to acknowledge yeah. you no more. That's the thing. Yes, but, right. but they, they can that's, still acknowledge Batman. That's, like, that's, no, that's, that's their plans now. They plan on not acknowledging him no more. That they could. Their if whole he, slate think if he, if he is him. I'm, I'm, I'm just showing like the rumors of their. They show oh, the no, slate. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're erasing his particular but, bat flick out of the whole cool. Ben Affleck. They call him bat flick because he's Batman, Affleck, bat flick. There's bat flick, bat flick, bat yeah, Batman. Yeah, Batman is is Robert Pattinson as Batman. Yo, Batflick, shit like that. You know, like so. But if Ben Affleck comes to DC, like yo, I want to be Batman. You think he's gonna say no? Like, I, I, I kind of think that's what's going on right now. I think since he was Snyder heavy, that they trying to erase everything that had to do with Snyder. For some strange reason, when the fans yeah, loved, that's the best movie they ever did was the Snyder cut and. They don't want to act on that because it got so much phrase. Yeah, but I think they the want to run with their part, vision more than his vision. The, the, best, part of, right. the so. best part of Zack Snyder's universe was fucking Ben Affleck. Mm-hmm. So why not reset and keep his Batman canon? Like, you, you can do reset that. Everything. You know what? There's also rumors everything. of this rumors that he might get a, a series on Disney. I mean, on HBO Max. Yeah, they could do that too. They, like, they Disney Plus is going about here. The, 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 he might get his with Deathstroke. The, the good thing about, about Joe. What's Joe Magnolia. Yo, you know what I just found out? 
What? You know who he played in 2002? That we all know that scene like the back of our hand? Who? Flash Thompson. That song got Spider Man in the whole oh. thing. <laughs> That's him? Joe. Joe Magnolia. Magnolia. He's gonna play who? Joe Magnolia. He's like an actor that we all know now. We seen, you know, I seen Sunday Man shit. And if you know him, you know him. And he plays Deathstroke. He was Deathstroke at the end of the Snyder Cut. If you seen the Snyder Cut, he popped on with Lex Luthor on the yacht on a little cruise ship, and he was Deathstroke. He took off the helmet, and he was supposed to be Deathstroke for the Batman movie that was supposed to be. Deathstroke was supposed to be in Suicide Squad. Exactly. You know, the movie directly took him out. Nah, nah, nah. Um, his dude was gonna use him. James Gunn. Nah, no, but he. Since he was, all right. He took him out, whatever. Yeah, he took him out. That was the point. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> basically, that actor that's playing Deathstroke or was supposed to play Deathstroke for the Snyderverse mm-hmm. and DCEU, I was watching a clip and I'm like, oh, that's. Somebody mentioned his name. They didn't even say that he was Deathstroke. They just said, yeah, with Joe Marley and this scene. I'm like, I looked at him. I pressed pause. I'm like, yo, this nigga's really the guy that Flash Thompson, when he threw the punch at Tobey Maguire. With the fly, pausing yeah, and the yeah, spin yeah. ball. And that's him, and he's that short now. He's like a well successful character now, but in that movie, he seems like a jock, like a douchebag. You know? right. But I'm like, yo, it's crazy how you don't know somebody, and you've been nah, with really And then you see a movie. Like, look, at, look at Captain America. He was Jake Waller in not another team movie. Like, you feel me? Shit like that, see? Right, right. So, so yeah, but, but yeah, back to what she was saying. Like, the DC, like, the cool thing about their multiverse is, is that. They could. I feel that the the advantage that DC has over Marvel with their multiverse is they could literally make whatever movie and ignore it, pick and choose. Yeah, because you know why? Because they don't have to worry about the storylines connecting so much. Yeah, that's what they got. It's a curse that became a gift. Yo, like the the possibilities. They could just say, "Oh, nah, you know that's my son." Kind of like that flop. This is why like this is why like Marvel Studios right now, MCU particularly. My son Kevin Feige is. Einstein of this shit when it comes to this room. He's so he's like a stand of comics that grew up and they gave him the keys to the world. <laughs> he literally so he Nick called in a meeting like three weeks ago, right? When at the end after Loki ended. He called in a meeting with every staff member from Marvel Studios. Come in today. We have a meeting. And he had to explain to them the rules of the multiverse. Think about what that might mean. Why would I have to explain it? Like you know why? Because you're doing the show. You're one of my directors, and from here on out, we're dealing with the multiverse. I don't want you messing up something that concludes with his show, right. because you didn't watch his show, or you don't understand our rules of multiverse. So this is our rules. But I don't, they didn't even say what he told them. They just yeah. said that he had to tell the media and explain it to them. This is how we're carrying ourselves about the multiverse from here on out. I don't want to know because that nigga's walking on eggshells. He knows. Man, we he's calculating everything. That's why I love him. And yo. As long as it's in his hands, the shit is good, like, crazy. But just to bring that up, that was, like, a, a big deal, because most, you don't hear about studios I mean, doing that. You don't hear about studios calling in. has a better multiverse? I don't know, because I don't know it, I don't know, I don't know enough on each to compare them. Well, I mean, but I'm all I'm saying is, like, it's great, because we don't see studios, we don't hear about studios doing stuff like that, like, holding everybody that's under us in the studio will come to work today because I gotta hold the meeting because from here on out, our new movie that released, our new show released is a game changer. So all of us gotta up our game right. and be aware of what we're writing in or what we're editing in. You're a VFX person. You gotta know that this is like this now. This comes from that. You gotta do new stuff. It's just crazy, bro. That's just crazy. Nah, that's, that's, that's dope, though. Yeah. It's about that time. Assemble and talk. No, no cap. It's a civil war. You digging, you worthy. You feeling like door. Smash that light, burn like hope. Yeah.